Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be installing these LED lights in the Prelude's gauge cluster. The resonator also came in, and also the exhaust clamp, but I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more once we get to that step. Right now, we just gonna focus on the LED cluster. So this entire time, the gauge cluster lights did not work. I'm hoping that the lights are just burned out and it's not nothing wiring related, but let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so unfortunately, a lot of these trim pieces got broken tabs on them or just completely broken. This piece right here, this bottom piece, completely broken. Kind of sucks, but it's okay. I either glue it or just find a replacement piece. So now it's a whole bunch of screws at the top, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those out real quick. Okay, so we got all the surrounding trim pieces off with the tweeter covers. I'm about to look online to see how to remove just the cluster. Um, look like somebody already broke a piece of the tab right there. So I don't want to break any more of that. I'd rather just uh, look online and see how to get this cluster out and we'll get it out. So we got the cluster out. Uh, now I think, how, what am I missing? I, I'm missing one socket, so that kind of sucks. So I have to get a replacement one. So it's gonna have a dead zone, but that's fine. Um, we have to pull the socket out to pull the bulb out. So you literally just pull the bulb out like that. And then it is, uh, you have to get negative and positive, right? So you just have to guess and check. Uh, so hopefully I get it first try, if not then so have to go back in and uh, swap them, uh, reverse them. So let's go ahead and swap these out. We got lights. Now I got a lot to explain, so pay attention. None of these lights work. The cluster, these lights, this, all this is supposed to light up, and I'm pretty sure the door right here is supposed to light up. I'm assuming that the dimmer switch is bad because every time I, I would adjust it, it would have no effect on the system whatsoever. There's also a brightness control module right there, the little black box. That also goes with the whole dimming situation. And also the, the gas and the, uh, the temperature gauge. Once I turn the parking lights on, they would just freak out. They would dim, but some of it would not even come up on the screen and it would just look terrible. So what I did to make all of this at least functional where it's usable at night and look good was I replaced the LEDs in the back of the cluster. And y'all see me soldering, the speedometer and the RPM needle was kind of dim, so I bought more green LEDs and I just soldered that to the little piece of paper circuit board and shoved that down in there. So it's definitely a lot brighter. But to get the cluster even to light up, there's a red and black wire that's coming off the left side harness. I cut that and I took the red and black and I grounded it with the black wire and the cluster popped right on. Now you are losing the dimmer feature by doing this, it's running at full brightness, which is fine. It looks great, and this is in my daily car, so it's not gonna bother me too much. I'd rather have all of this working and visible than nothing at all because it actually sucks. And the same with the gas and temp to keep that from dimming. You have to cut this red and black, but instead of grounding it, you just leave it alone because this whole system is already illuminated without the parking lights. All that wire is doing is supposed to provide variable voltage, I believe, to dim the gas in the, in the temp, but 
It's all running at full brightness. One cool thing is the radio dimmer still works for some reason. So if I turn the lights on, you see the radio go down. So it's a little weird. I don't know if, um, I believe that the dimmer is bad, but I believe it's also something else. I'm not gonna dive into um, wiring and all this stuff. I've literally been looking at so many diagrams and stuff and I just don't feel like uh, diving into it. I feel that the reward is not really uh, good because as long as I can get everything to work, then that's all I want, you know? It doesn't need to be perfect. This isn't my daily driver. This is literally just on my little project car. So this is how I'm gonna run it. Everything works, everything looks good. So um, it's basically time to put all this stuff back together. By the way, if y'all wanna do a full LED conversion, all of these are, uh, pops out. All of the warning lights pop out. You can see the bulbs right there. Um, I believe these are T4 and these are a little bit smaller. I'm not 100% sure what size they are. I think they might be like three millimeter, like T something. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm gonna leave all of that alone because they all work and I don't see the purpose of changing all of that out. I literally did this just so I can get this damn cluster to work because uh, you literally can't see anything at night. Now you can, so that's, that's awesome. I also want to say real quick, by doing this, it will not fix these lights right here, or these lights, or these lights. I'm pretty sure you will have to individually do the red and black trick on each light set of lights. Or it might be one spot where you can just grind it out and it'll fix the entire system. I got tired of sitting here with my voltmeter trying to figure out this system. Uh, I got that unplugged, the brightness control module, and also the dimmer switch is unplugged. I'm gonna just leave all that unplugged and like I say, this is not gonna work. This, the lights aren't gonna work, but the buttons are functional and the lights right here not gonna work. But the two main important things that you look at, the cluster and the temp and the, uh, the gas are 100% visible, which is exactly what I wanted. So now it's time to put this stuff back together. Nice. It's lit. <laughs> So I'm gonna call it for tonight. I'm cold and it's late and I wanna go in the house. So I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow and we gonna get this exhaust done. Let's get it. All right, so we back and it's time to get this exhaust done. Okay, so I got the resonator on the header side. Now as y'all can see, I hope y'all can see, it slipped right on the pipe, which is kind of weird because both of them are supposed to be two inch pipe, so. That goes to show that uh, they're not actually two inch. <laughs> but um, this is something I've been running into, running um, using these cheaper parts, but I'm still get it done. Uh, I gotta cut this back a little bit back here. Uh, this is where I welded before, this is the reducer. Uh, I'm just gonna cut all of this off and go from there. <laughs> Okay, so we got it all mocked up. Um, I said I was gonna use some clamps, but I'm just gonna go ahead and weld the uh, resonator to both sides. Uh, I forgot that this exhaust comes off right here, so it won't be too much of a pain in the ass to get this piece off. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and weld it. The clamps also wasn't fitting right how I, how I wanted it to fit. So I'm just gonna weld it and it should be good. So I'm gonna tack it up first and then take it off and fully weld it. It's not the prettiest, but that shit will definitely hold. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grind this down one more time and then throw it on the car and weld the other side. I like to call that the leak test. <laughs> okay, so I got it all welded up. It's kind of dark down there because I was cleaning up, but it's on there now. So I'm gonna get it off the jack stand and we're gonna see how it sounds. bit quieter uh still a little bit too high pitched for me i kind of like that deep uh four cylinder sound and this exhaust definitely don't get it but it'll do for now i still got a lot more stuff to do to the car and this exhaust definitely will hold up until i find something better or i might just put a different muffler on you never know that might just simply be the muffler that's just messing up the whole system but it's fine for now i can drive it finally without uh, pissing off my neighbors too bad. I ain't gonna hold too much more of y'all time. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment anything y'all want to see on the car or anything y'all want to know. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.